Okay, so this is the five lever lock we're going to start today. This is from uh, it was a Smith and Lock from Screwfix, and it's a uh, five lever lock for a door. So pretty much that's the main uh, barrel part. And you got the instructions, the keys, and you got the other part which goes to the solid metal, uh, you know, which goes onto the actual uh, door frame. Okay, and then this is a front plate for. Uh, the five in the lock which goes on there so we'll show you that shortly how to fit that tools required uh, cordless drills combi drill for drilling the wood wash bits uh, and you've got impact driver uh, yep so these are the the Bosch wood bits so you've got different sizes 16 mil 20 mil 22 let's see what else we've got here 28. Yep. So, so we'll see uh, what size we need for the lock. So, you, as you can see, it's quite a, th a thin lock here. But obviously, it's a solid, you know, five lever lock. Yeah. So we'll just measure the si size on that. Okay. So in terms of chisel, uh, I like to use just a standard 20 mil uh, chisel for the wood. Uh, you just gotta make sure it's nice and sharp. And also what we need is a hammer, obviously we put a chisel, chisel and a hammer together. So I'll show you those shortly how to apply those. Okay, so in terms of sizes, so let's just have a look what, what size we need. So this is a 20 mil. Yeah, as you can see, I don't think 20 mils can do the job, so it's quite tight. So you, want, you don't want it to be too tight. So I think the best thing to do is use 22 mil. So that should cover it. So you, you know, you don't want it too tight, you just want a nice little gap on each side. Uh, yep, so we're gonna go for the 22 mil. This is where we're going to fit the lock. So this is the existing door with a standard handle and latch. So I'm going to fit the, the five lever lock just underneath it. You know, to have a separate uh, lock here. So that will go here against that latch. So it's about this. So the next stage is actually marking it up and then start drilling. Okay, so this is the position where we need it, uh, just about there. So what I like to do, I like to get this plate and, and do like a temporary profile setup, like rather than marking it with a pencil. Uh, what I like to do, I actually like to, because like obviously it's got a little, little cut here. So that cut you can use and hit it against the wood and that creates the level line for you. So I'm going to put the lock right there. So tap that in slightly with a hammer and then once that's tucked in you know you've got, you've got your markings there okay so what I like, like to do is get some screws and turn very put them in and then you can do the chisel marks which is right there so let's temporarily put the screw in Okay, perfect. As you can see, I've temporarily screwed that plate in because what I don't like to do, I, I don't like to do it with a pencil mark. I like to I actually like to use the chisel against against that temp, you know, this like So what you can do, you just start hitting it across here and that is the actual line so you know it's, it's actually good practice to do that rather than using a pencil see as you can see this way rolling a pencil you actually mark the actual thing so you always use a flat side against this bit here against the metal piece, so you get a nice straight line. Okay, so now take the plate back off.
Okay. So as you can see, you know, you got your nice square marking nice and level. So now you know that that's going to be the actual screw holes and then you can see the nice line. So you know, doing that on a pencil line to get it accurate is difficult. So it's always, it's always better to do it this way. Okay. So I'm just going to mark. So there's two holes that we've got here, those old holes, line them up. And you've got to find out how much you would take out of this wood. So line up, line up the screws. Mark it here. Okay, so I've got my lines. So I've got the drill bit now and got the markings on here. So it's a matter of taking centre part out. So the four holes are drilled now, can you see? So obviously you need to chisel these side bits out for all 23 mils ago. So if you cut this, so that's gonna fit perfectly now in there. So the only thing you're gonna, gonna do now is square this off on the sides with a chisel. Okay, so now it's a matter of just squaring this off. Remember the flat side on this side, because you don't, not the other way. As you see now it's, it's nice and straight from here but you just got to make sure that it's straight throughout not just the front part here you just got to make sure the ends as well so I just need a little bit more at the ends and then it will slot through
Okay, just gotta make sure it's flat at the ends as well. Okay, it up now, so let's just try it and see if it fits. Okay, so that's obviously uh, fitted in nicely. So now, because of the thickness of this plate at the front, we've got to chisel out all this bit here and just take all this out, all this out a little bit deep. But if you can think of the thickness of this, so it's, you know, that's almost four, four, four mil that is. So we need to take four mil off these bits here. As you can see, I've chiseled all this top bit off as well. So it's, uh, you know, the depth of about four to five mil there. Uh, the reason being, because obviously the thickness of this. So let's try it now, see if it fits. Okay, so so this bit is, is flush with the wood at this point. So, we, you know, we need to get this plate on top as well. So to account for that plate, we need to go back a bit further. And the best way of doing this is, you know, getting this bit flush is, is, ideal, is the right way to do it first. So if I should show you something on the side, uh, you see this bit here? That's causing it not to go in properly. So what we're going to do, we're just going to do a little countersink here, uh, drill bit, uh, drill that out. So then that can push further, and that is pretty much the same the thickness as this plate. See that? So pretty much, the f so you know to, to work out how much wood you need to take out on these five lever locks is to get this plate level first. So once this is level, once you do the countersink, the plate will push back and, and then it will be nice and level for this. Okay, so we just need to countersink that now. Okay, so this is the countersink. I'm just gonna do it into here. See nice and flush. So if you grab the plate and put that on the right way, there you go. Nice and flush. Because because of the countersink now, it's it's perfectly flush now. Okay, so now it's just a matter of putting the hole here now for the keyhole. Okay, it's a matter of lining it up now. So what we're going to use is a marksman to mark the hole against uh, the door. So give it a shake. This is for the keyhole, and that's going to go right in there. So I just need to find the right size bit.
Okay, let's try it. Okay, so there you go. It's nice to do it. There's a threaded screw that goes in there. Thank you. 